it's been so long since I had to do this, but um, ayo, what to do YouTube, it's your boy Alvin MB10, aka AMR10, and what I got for you today is some NBA 2K25 Next Gen. Now, this is the first video we're posting on 2K25, so hopefully you guys enjoy it and show the love down below in the comments as well as the likes, but hey, it is what it is. Now, as per usual, as you can tell by the title, thumbnail, and what's on the screen for you today, following in suit with what we've done over the past two years, the very first video I have for you this year happens to be my version or my best Paul George build. Now, mind you, I've only had a few hours to play this game, but I have done a little bit of research here and there to find out what I need in order to be able to get Paul George. So hopefully, you guys agree with me in that this is one of the better Paul George builds out there because it might be the only one. Now, starting off with, as you know, name Paul, surname George, right-handed, wears the jersey number 8 this year after having moved to Philly. However, we will be going with his jersey number 13 because PG-13 was just mean. Uh, Position-wise, he is the starting small forward. Fun fact for most of you who don't know, he used to be a shooting guard but moved over to small forward just because I... I don't know why he had a thing about playing the shooting guard. I'm guessing it's because of the sets they play in the NBA, but hey, it's up to him. Height-wise, he is measured in at 6'8 with a weight of about 220 pounds. We took these two metrics off the official NBA website, so if anyone has beef, take it to them. And then when it came to the wingspan, we decided to go with 6'11. Now, one thing I want to highlight before we even get into a skill breakdown for the build, this is for majority of people dealing with the builder. You'll notice that when you mess with the wingspan this year, it doesn't really terribly affect the attributes. So, for example, if you increase the wingspan to max of 7'4", the key thing is the maximum decrease you'll see happens to you at the mid-range jump shot where you get minus 7. Obviously, the 3 ball moves down minus 6, but that's not that terrible. But you do get a boost of plus 14 when it comes to your block, plus 9 on the defensive rebound, and a plus 8 on the offensive. And then when you decrease the wingspan all the way down to about six foot eight, you'll notice the maximum decrease you see is a minus 11 on the steal, but you also see a plus four on both shooting attributes when it comes to the mid range and of course the three point jump shot. So in my personal opinion, this fluctuation within the attributes based off wingspan is not as bad as it's been in previous years, but you let me know whether you agree with me or not. Now, as per usual, before we get into a skill breakdown of the build, I do gotta say a few things. Firstly, shout out to all of you for all the support you've been showing to the channel. We've somehow managed to gain subs even though we haven't been posting that much over the past few months. And thank you to all of you that voted on whether to pre-order this game or not because as you can see, I'm a man of my word. You said we should get it and we got it. But I do gotta say, if you enjoyed today's video, which I know you will because 2K just dropped. Do me a favor, let's get 100 likes on this video and we will upload another video as soon as possible. Most likely the best LeBron James build I can possibly think of. Either that or we can go to another position, which is why also down below in the comment section, let me know what other builds you want to see because whatever seems to be the most liked or the comment that I find most intriguing, that's the build we'll make next. And lastly but not least, if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we are trying to hit at least 2,500 subs by the end of December this year. Now, as per usual, we're going to start off at the bottom by dealing with the physicals. The first thing you'll notice is they have changed and removed acceleration as well as stamina. They now have speed, ver agility, strength, and vertical, which makes it a little bit easier on the physical side of things because it does kind of help when you're making a build. So firstly, we're going to go with the 78 on the vertical, mainly because as you can guess, we're aiming to get them pro contact dunks on this build because again, Paul George. I'm not aiming to get elite because it takes too many attribute points which takes away from your ability to make the build as versatile as you want it to be. But one thing I will point out is this year's builder feels a little bit more generous than last year's because last year's was hella stingy when it came to how you're setting up builds, but that might also be because they removed things like stamina, which is ironic because that attribute used to take very little off of, on your actual overall. Uh, Strength-wise, we're going to go all the way up to a 70. This is to help with the defense as per usual. These are attributes you already know of. And then when it comes to the speed, we're going to go with a 75. Now, the last physical I wanted to mess with was the agility because I wanted to basically let you guys know the description for it, what it was, which as you can see is, it's your ability without the ball of how fast your player can accelerate, move in short bursts, and move laterally. So in my personal opinion, off reading that alone, it deals with your acceleration, it deals with your quick first step, i.e. your ability to blow off, and then lastly but not least, move laterally, that only happens one way, i.e. playing defense. So you do want this to be slightly high if you want to be a good perimeter defender, because I'm guessing this year perimeter defense, the attribute at least, focuses on your ability to contest shots at the perimeter and have people basically stay in front of people, whereas your agility is going to deal with your ability to cut people off when they try and burst by you. 
So we decided to put this all the way up to an 80, mainly because it does mean we're going to be capable on both the defensive and the offensive side of things. Now the next attributes to get out the way happen to be the rebounding stats. We decided to put these up to a 57 and a 42. More than anything, this was influenced by how we had set up the rest of the defensive stats, but we're going to get into that later. The very first thing we're going to get into is the shooting. Now, if you look quickly at the screen, you'll notice shooting-wise, when it comes to Paul George's shooting animations, you require at least an 86 on the three ball or an 86 on the midi in order to be able to get his jump shot. And then when it comes to his go-to shot, you need an 81 at the very least. So as we know, the very maximum attribute you need is an 86 in order to get all of his shooting capabilities. We decided to firstly go with a 91 when it came to the mid-range jump shot, mainly because it does mean we get a lot of versatility and the fact that we managed to get gold on the set shot specialist, which as you can see, boosts the chances of knocking down standstill jump shots. And then gold on shifty shooter, which is a new badge, obviously improving the player's ability to successfully make high difficulty jump shots. This is necessary with Paul George because as you know, he's one of the shiftiest guys out there. And then obviously we do also get silver dead eye. The only thing we don't get is mini marksman because we are over the height of six foot three and post weight phenom we deal with later. Now when it came to the three ball, we decided to go with an 83 mainly because that was the bare minimum to get at least bronze limitless range we couldn't get any higher tiers of limitless range by increasing our three-point jump shot so i personally left it this slow looking at the player breakdown within 2k in itself paul george does have a 93 ball however there's no way of being able to get that with his physical measurements 2k just kind of sold us in that way but hey it is what it is we're still happy with it and then when it came to the free throw decided to put this all the way up to a 75 now as you'll know notice there's no longer badges for free throw shooting so hey it all comes down to your attribute rating I'm pretty sure it's going to come down to your stamina in the game, i.e. low stamina, harder, harder to shoot the free throws, but we'll see as we progress through the year. Now, the next thing to mess with happens to be the finishing. Decided to go with an 89 when it came to the driving dunk because obviously this does mean we get pro contact dunks as well as silver posterizer and gold aerial wizard. And then when it came to the standing dunk, we left this alone at a 49, but we did improve the post control all the way up to about a 77, which of course means that firstly, we get that silver post weight phenom, which is self-explanatory. We get silver post up poet, which is a new badge, but it raises the chances of faking out or getting by the defender and making shots and performing moves in the post, which again, Paul George is nice with. I wouldn't say he's the best in the world with it, but he's nice enough that we do want to get that at the very least. And then the last thing we tweaked when it came to the finishing side of things was we decided to put the driving layup up to a 70 at the very least allowing us to get physical finisher at bronze obviously and bronze float game now obviously there is layup mix master which hits fancy layups at a high rate with the 75 driving layup but if you're making a replica build or at least a player based build i'm pretty sure that's not one of the badges you're too worried about if anything you're worried about banging down on people and of course finishing with your layups now close shot we do move this up to a 77 actually you know what? we're going to leave it down at a 76 and we're going to tweak with everything else before we get back to it now, playmaking wise, this is why I say the build is a little bit more generous because to start off with, we managed to get the ball handle all the way up to an 86, which of course means we do get Silver Ankle Assassin, another new badge, which increases the ability to break down the defender or cross them up, as well as Silver Handles for days, Strong Handle. Again, this I think is just replacing Physical Handle because it reduces the likelihood of being bothered by defenders when dribbling, exact same as Physical Handles from last year. And then we'll of course get Silver Unpluckable, which as you can see, to get it at at least gold, you need a 96 post control or at least a 92 ball handle. Hopefully with how they're saying defense has improved this year, you might need to improve it uh, you might need to increase your ball handling quite high if you're a point guard because yeah i'm hoping that this year defensively you can not only stay in front of people but you have a better chance of ripping the ball away from them without always hearing a whistle blowing for a foul now pass accuracy wise decided to put this all the way up to about an 86 obviously allowing us to get that bronze bailout silver break starter which i don't feel is too necessary but we also do get bronze versatile visionary new badge again which allows for high risk creative passes and alley-oops to be made more successfully and then of course we get gold dimer in the tier 2 rankings now speed with ball i decided to push this all the way up to about a 75 because it does mean we managed to get the ball handle sorry we managed to get jalen green's speed with ball in my personal opinion from the glimpse i took a glimpse look i took when it came to the whole a bit moving just general speed with ball animations jalen greens looked the best so i decided to go with this at the very minimum because it was what we could get now when it comes to the defense again this is where the builder is a bit generous we managed to get an 85 when it comes to the perimeter defense which of course means that we do get silver challenger silver on ball menace which we've never seen before first time seeing this badge within 2k 
means relentless perimeter defense. As you can guess, it is the exact opposite to off-ball minutes, which improves an ability to bump and harass the offense off the ball. Now you get to do it on the ball. And then we obviously get silver pick dodger, not getting it movable enforcer because again, our strength isn't at a set. You know, there you go. We now get a movable enforcer because we have an 85 on the perimeter defense and a 71 on the strength. We won't be improving the strength to an 82 to get it at silver, but hey, at least we get it at bronze. On the interior defense side of things, this is why we put the strength up to about a 70 because at a 74 on the interior defense, ooh, this is why I gotta tweak things. This is why I, did, I left it the way I left it. All right, cool, we're gonna lower the steel down to a 55. We're gonna lower the block down to, oh, we can't even lower it down too tough. Okay, I know what the issue is. So I gotta take the plus one off here and I gotta put it back here. It looks like we're not getting the movable enforcer. The reason we went with a 74 on the interior defense was at a 74 interior defense and a 70 on the strength means you get bronze post lockdown, which of course in this case improves the defender's ability to defend post moves. And then with the last few attribute points we do have, we're probably just gonna put a few, we might put a few on steel, slap a few on block, and there we go. Now, key thinking behind this build was you want elite finishing when it comes to contact dunks, because again, you're attacking the rim more often than not. You're looking to bang it on players, especially at six foot eight with a set, with a six foot eleven wingspan. You should be able to knock it down. Then we went with the high post control to ensure the fact that if you do find yourself in the mid range, you are able to shoot out the post if you really do have to back someone down. But again, with the 91 on the mid range jump shot, it does mean you can also shoot, just catch and shoot in the mid range with that gold set shot specialist. And obviously, with shifty shooter, you can create as much as you want whilst you're down there. And then the 83 three-point, in my personal opinion, should be good enough to knock down three balls at an efficient clip. You won't be a marksman on the team, but you'll be efficient enough that just like Paul George, you're a perfect second option on any team. Pass accuracy of an 86 does mean bailout, but it also means versus how visionary. Gold dimer is a new thing that we see at this level of a pass accuracy, but hey, it's really nice because it does mean you get to boost your teammate shot percentages. And then the 86 on the ball handle allows us all silver ball handling abilities, 75 speed ball for the animations, as well as I forgot to mention a new badge in lightning launch, which explosive and driving to the basket, self-explanatory, which managed to get a silver with a 75 on the speed of ball. And then of course, we already spoke about the defensive side of things and the physicals. Now, this is how the breakdown looks. Let me just show you what we got in the shades of. First one, Jalen Brown. Second one, PG-13 and obviously Jimmy Butler. The name of the build happens to be none other than a shot creating three level threat. Now, let me know what you think about the build down below in the comment section because personally, in my opinion, I'm kind of shocked they didn't give us 2A in the front of the name, but hey, 2K is who they are. I'm personally happy with it, but let me know down below in the comment section. What do you think of the build? Would you rock this build? Would you not? Uh, don't forget, if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more content like this, do me a favor, go and hit that like button. We are aiming for at least 50 likes on this thing. And down below in the comment section, as per usual, don't forget to tell me what other videos you might want to see. And if you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet, hit that subscribe button and turn post notice on because it's a new year of 2K and hopefully this is the year we make 2K great again. Dang, sound like my guy out here. But yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. It's been your boy Alvin MB10, aka my 10 I'll catch you in a bit. Deuces.